this morning. And when I'm late waking up, the chickens and the turkeys don't like that, not one bit. So let's go see how they act in being late. Rough night, a really rough night. We've got the meat birds, well, the Cornish rock meat birds in a tr chicken tractor. I just really hurt myself moving it yesterday. Normally, I never had to put a tarp on it, but this year I did because a fisher actually put its little paw underneath where there was one little gap and pull the chicken out piece by piece. There's, I know they're meat birds and everything, but that was not fun to wake up to go see that. Jumping at the cage. Jumping at it. It's crazy. Like the cage. They're attacking the cage. This is the nursery. This is where I have Right now I'm keeping the silkies, but also mommies and babies. This is the most secure location on the farm where we have a major uh, weasel and fox problem this year. So everything's kind of super, super, super secure. And this is basically just a kennel that we put chicken wire on, like a piece of bamboo and made a little angle for fencing. I think you could see that in one of my other videos, how we got that together. Look, you wanna come out? Laura, would you like to come out now? She's like, get me out of here. So even with this kennel that's one inch wire, I had to put hardware cloth on it because our First place, a fisher can get in a one inch hole. And second place, the raccoon just sticks its hand in there and grabs what it can grab. And it doesn't care if it pulls off just a body part and just keep pulling in. It's just absolutely horrific. So we got her out and that's Laura and all her babies. Let's go take a quick look. Everybody's thirsty. Oh, yeah. You're so thirsty, cute little babies. Good morning. You're getting so big. Yeah. You're such a good mama, Laura. You really are. All your babies are getting so big. We have one white chicken out of the whole barred rock bunch because I had a white rooster here for a little while. His name was James, but James got really vicious and attacked not only me, but my grandson. So James became dinner, but I found out that when a rooster mates with a chicken, that it can keep sperm and fertilized her for up to two weeks. So we wound up with one white chicken, right from James. Right? Isn't that funny? We better go let everybody else out. They're not happy. Good morning, guys. Good morning, Silky Troop. Good morning, baby silks. Good morning. Come on out. Better hurry up and get out of here. The big ones are coming out any second. Good morning, Troop Silky. Oh, you're so pretty. Rise and shine. All right. And John Snow's going to attack, attack the screen. Hi, John. Everybody ready to come out? I know I'm really, really late today. I'm a late riser today. <gasps> Good morning. Good morning. Whoa, Laura. 
Not cool. What's the matter, guys? Laura didn't want you outside with her babies. <laughs> Laura's just attacking everybody. Come on. You're all right. These two. These two. These two I sold, and I sold this gentleman a whole bunch of silkies, but they were all getting killed, all of them. So he contacted me, and he said, I'm really not set up for this. Can you please take, I have two left. Can you please take them back? Because everybody else is dying, and I don't want these two to die. And they've been here for like two weeks, and they're still so timid. They don't want to come out of the enclosure. And I'm still not sure if they're boys or girls. I have a feeling the, uh, the paint is a boy and the black is a girl. But like in Silky World, you never know until they crow or lay an egg. But they're so beautiful. This black has green on her. She's just so gorgeous. We're gonna keep calling them she's in hopes. <gasps> We're hoping, we're hoping, right? We're hoping that your she's. Hmm. Well, everybody wasn't as nuts as I thought they were going to be for being locked up an extra hour and a half this morning. Good morning, everybody. Laura, be nice. Oh, the silkies right across the yard, the big ones. The little ones pretty much stay under this poke bush here. So I have like food, I have food under there for them. They pretty much stay under that, keep themselves protected from the hawks. There's so many things here that want to attack the chickens. So far we've been pretty lucky. Argus is really great at keeping them at bay. Argus. Not yours. Not yours, Argus. Here you go, Batman. Good girl. I call them all girls because I'm hoping that the ratio 50% girls and 50% roosters is not going to happen here. I don't want that to happen here. Hi, Paola. I'm going to take you inside. I have something really exciting to show you. Um, Growlies, once again, uh, surrogate mummy. And we've had babies hatching all morning. And what happened was I was going to have, I was hatching them in the incubator because I was going to sell them. But then Growly decided she was going to go broody again. And Growly's my splash silky and I don't breed her. But she was going to go broody again. She likes to hatch everybody's eggs. But she just got done raising those little ones over there. See that weird one? That's another job of James. It's a James the Rooster slash Silky. I don't know how that happened, but it happened. It's super cool looking. It looks almost like a cockatiel bird. So I'm keeping it. But I don't want it to breed, obviously. Um, oh, yeah, I was talking about Growly. So, and to get her off of being broody, I've brought her inside and I'm putting the newly hatched babies under her. And so far, it's great. She's accepting all of them. I'm going to pause you and we're going to go check on that. If you know me and you've been to the farm, you're probably wondering why. Where's Blue? Where's the turkeys? I let all the silkies out for a while and the babies out for about 45 minutes before I let those guys out because, yeah, they're a little bullyish. So here we go. We're going to go in and see all the newborns. So this is my setup. I've got the incubator at my kitchen table so I can have my coffee and watch them hatch. I had some friends over this weekend and oh, looks like I still have eggs to hatch. I don't know if she
you can handle all these. Riley. I even put an egg under her that was peeped out, which I know is super, super dangerous because it could have stopped hatching. Oh, can I see? Oh, look at this little pink baby. Oh, so pretty. Right now, Grammy has it out. She's such a good mama. See, she hatched it. Yes. She's so amazing. It's this little silver one. So the silver one tells me, even though I said I never make Growly, she did. John Snow got her. But look how cute it is. A cute little splash baby. Yeah. Good morning, my friends, and thanks for joining me for my early morning adventure. I hope to see you soon.